Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, James. Today, we are going to cover the new features of the Mimic PC. We are going to introduce free AI tools right here in Mimic PC that can help you to generate amazing images and also videos. And also, we are going to show you how to use Mimic PC as your virtual computer to run Stable Diffusion, Comfy UI, and uh, even DeepSeek. All right, let's dive in. Mimic PC is an open source AI platform that you can run in all kinds of the AI tools without deploying complicated environment. So no matter if you are using a MacBook or you are using a PC, you can run AI tools easily in Mimic PC. Well, you can run in Stable Diffusion, Comfy UI, even DeepSeek without download anything. You can deploy all kinds of the trending AIs without downloading them. With this revolutionary AI, you can easily learn all kinds of the AI tools. Did I just mention Stable Diffusion and Comfy UI? But you can also run in Face Fusion, RVC, Focus, Web UI, anything you name it. This is more than 20 plus AI tools. And for the pricing, this is much affordable than purchase a very expensive device. As long as your device have a browser, then you're all set. So this is truly amazing. This has been my secret tools to learning AI. I want to share it to you and uh, hopefully it's helpful. So click here, we can launch the Mimic PC and you will be landing this dashboard. And here we have some recommendations, for example, like Auto 1111 Web UI. This is a very cool one. And also Comfy UI, Olama, RVC, Focus, all the big names in AI industry, right? We have a BFL, Flux 1.1 Pro. We can use this to generate image by text. Let's try it out. So click here, try it for free. Wow, this is something new, right? So basically in Mimic PC, we can generate images or videos by text or images in so many ways. So this is one of them and most latest one. So we can generate uh, image by using Flux. All we need to do is put the prompt here. And we click the generate. So every day we have a five times free trial. So let's click the generate. Well, stunning. And dimension of this image is already good enough. So we can use it as a wallpaper maybe. So this is pretty cool. And let's try another one. And this time we have this advanced setting. So we can change the aspect ratio from here. And we can change the output format from PNG to JPG. And also we can type the seed. So this time let's click the generate button. Oh, that is so cute and so vivid. So this time let's try something difficult. So this time I ask AI to generate a cat and a recording YouTube just like me, but on the wall says UX bootcamp. So the hard question here is the right, correct, readable content inside of the image. Wow, this is sensational. And the alphabet is correct. And we have a very fat cat recording YouTube. I think this is lovely. Remember, download this image within 24 hours because after that, it will be automatically delayed. And this time I ask Mimic PC to generate an image with a cat in suit. And uh, the result is fantastic. And then we can download it. So which one is your favorite? And in the AI tools, and we also have image to video session. So in this session, we have a Minimax. So Minimax is the AI model that can help us to generate from image to video. And now it's really hard in the industry. So each day we have one free trial. And all we need to do is upload your image and put the prompt and click the generate. Oh, now we have a result. Let's check it out. Oh, it's so cute. And uh, we don't have a watermark, so which means you can use it directly. You just uh, download it from here. Amazing, right? So these AI tools are very new in Mimic PC. I strongly ask you to explore it. 
So if you want to run Auto Web UI and you can click here, get started. There are some parameters that we can tweak, for example, like the hardware. I'm gonna leave it to default. The default set is premium. And also you can set the mission time. Imagine you are building a PC for this AI, then you need to set the time that you are using. For example, like a half hour as a default. So this mini PC will stop working after half hour. But don't worry, you get free credits every time. And if you are satisfied with it, just click the create and start it. Oh, we are building our little PC. This is a surface of the stable diffusion. And we can even find the folder of the stable diffusion just like we ran it locally. But the rest of the interface are just like what we deployed in our computer. Okay, so if you are a pro, that you want to tweak the models or the, um, let's say, parameters inside of the stable diffusion folder, you can do it here manually. And you can find the tutorials. Let's imagine we are first to stable diffusion. So we can test it by using the text to image functionalities. Okay, I just write a prompt and here we can type out the negative prompt. And this time to choose a checkpoint. Remember, all the checkpoints need to download one by another when we run it locally. But here we have a long list. Oh, I can say if we want to download it one by another, it took more than one day. Okay, let's use Flux as an example. And here we can tweak about the size of the image and then click the generate. Okay, the result here, we just generate a cute girl in cyberpunk age. It's super cool, right? Notice that I just add the negative prompts. I just changed the checkpoint to WAI cute. I think the result is fantastic and the quality is amazing. And we can even tweak it by using the upscale tool inside of the stable diffusion. Wow, okay, check it out the quality and the size of this image already been upscaled. This is amazing, right? So actually we didn't deploy anything because we deployed a stable diffusion that's very time consuming. But with Mimic PC, we can easily use stable diffusion totally online and we don't need to download anything. But we can modify stable diffusion just like what we did in locally. Okay, now I'm done with stable diffusion web UI. Click the stop. You will find your virtual computer is here. And if you want to operate again, you just click here. And if you are down today, just leave it. That's a crazy idea because we can run a lot of PCs. We don't need to purchase a PC for AI anymore. And uh, let's add another app. There are a lot of updates in Mimic PC, for example, like Open Voice, I never seen it before. Let's try it by click the Get Started and leave it as a default and click the Create and Start. All right, here we are in the Open Voice. I think this is a quite a new voice AI. So let's try it. What it can do, click the Play button. Have you uh, become expert in the deep learning algorithms? Have you, have you learned the state of the arts, have you, have you, have you have deep technical knowledge on um, the state of the arts and deep learning? Um, and second is, wow, this is amazing because it's so human. Check out the pose between each words, just like me, it's a little trembling, right? <laughs> then all we need to do is put the content that we want to speak here. Then we can even use the microphone for reference. I will save it for later. Then we need to choose the language. We have for English, US, English, English, Britain, Britain accent, and also a Chinese, Japanese, Korean. If we're done with the parameters, we can click the send. Hey, welcome to X Bootcamp. This is YouTube channel that introduces latest AI and also a bit of design. So this simulates the voice.
All right, so we already tried web UI and we tried open voice. Oh, I forgot to close my computer, so click here. Coffee UI has always been my dream, but sometimes I use MacBook for work, so I cannot run Coffee UI easily. But with Mimic PC, we can do it. So click the quick start and uh, click the create and start. All right, we already set up the Comfy UI, and you can use it just like a local, very easy. Just click the QQ the prompt, and you get the image, right? This is a very basic. And you can resymbol all the components inside to get a brand new one. But if you are a freshman in Comfy UI, just like me, I recommend click Discover. So where we have a lot of workflows. Wow, this is amazing. Check the mark. If this says Comfy UI, you can use it in the Comfy UI. Oh, this is amazing. Let's try to see if we can generate a video inside of a Comfy UI. So click Operate and click the Create and Start. All right, so we have this workflow with the Hun Yuan model inside. Okay, let's generate. All right, let's see if we already have an image, but we want to convert into video. Then we need to find the image to video converter, right? I think this new VR customers model can help us. Let's click the open. Okay, so let's uh, upload the image as a reference for our video. And let's write the prompt. And here we can tweak the size of our video. 1024 is good enough for me. And let's generate. And also let's try Olama Web UI. Click the get started. Oh, we need to select a model first. So let's choose this one. See, Olama already answered our question, and we can even tweak to the DeepSeek. I think DeepSeek is a very hot AI model nowadays, right? So you can use three different DeepSeek model. You can use the latest one. Let's use the latest one and ask a question. And we can see this tag, sync. So, so only the DeepSeek have this sync process inside of the answer. So you can use the DeepSeek in the Mimic PC with a second, and it's totally cool, totally free, and you need to see it by yourself. Not to mention, Mimic PC have a tutorial hub where you can find a lot of tutorials to teach you how to use each AI. Congratulations on watching to the end. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You won't miss out on more great contents. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.